As an Amazon associate, I earn from qualifying purchases. What's good, y'all? So today we have a product review. Um, as you can see from the disclosure at the beginning, this is um, a product review. The link that's going to be provided is a commission-based link. Um, if you do want to use it, you are more than welcome to use it, of course. Um, so this is the product here. It is a Delta Children little sitting area. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start assembling it and the rest of this video is going to be voiceover where I further explain what made me buy the product um, and just a little more about it um, if you're interested in purchasing it while I put it together and then we'll see Sam using it by the end of the video. What's good y'all? Okay, so right here I'm like pretty much getting it out the box. I was struggling a little bit because the phone was like sticking to the cardboard of the box but um yeah, this is just like anytime I get assembly furniture, I just pull all the pieces out, the directions and everything. I adjusted my camera so y'all can see better as well. I'm um, gonna have my little toolbox, my little pink toolbox that I got from, I think I got that from Target. Um, it's like a little 24, 30 piece set or something like that. And so, you know, I'm laying all my directions out, getting myself together. But before we get more into explaining that, um, so the reason that I decided to buy this was because, so Sam has a high chair and then he also has like a little fold table, like, you know, the little toddler fold table. Um, he has both of those and we use the fold table mostly for like little arts and crafts because it's like that plastic, like shiny top. So it's easy to clean like paint and different things off of, but I wanted something like nice to kind of go with the uh, furniture that I'm going to have in my dad's house when we move back to Virginia. And so I wanted to, I knew I was going to do like the espresso wood furniture, that composite wood. So I found this on Amazon and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Um, and because like the chair and the desk are connected he'll like he won't be able to like move around too much like when he's eating or anything so the primary use that we're gonna like have it for is just like for him to eat his snacks uh, and stuff like that or just like a little chair for him to sit in when you know he's just chilling in the room watching tv or whatever so yeah pretty much that was the reason behind it and then also like with the high chair i just feel like sam is too big for the high chair now like not that it isn't useful like you can detach the booster seat part of it and like put it in a regular chair at a table so we'll probably keep that part but as far as it being on wheels and needing to use it like that like it's just it just takes up so much more space and so i just wanted something that was nice that felt a little sturdy that we could use um but let's get back to me trying to assemble this thing so yeah i messed up a few times like i kind of got ahead of myself see so i put it on there and then i took it off and then I'm going to put it back on there. Um, yeah, I kind of got confused a little bit, y'all. I was struggling for a second. But she gets it together. And um, we just start getting through it. Now, this part is throwing me off, too, because in the diagram, I'm going to show y'all. In the diagram, I'll, I'll put it on here. Um, it has, like, little ears on the back of it. And so I was confusing myself at first because I was like, the back of his chair don't have ears on it. So I'm like, am I missing a part? So I was struggling at first. But then I realized it's probably just a general diagram. They probably have multiple designs for this type of chair. Now, also, I'm going to... I put the back on there, but y'all, I'm going to have to take off one of the pieces again later. So the piece I'm putting on there now, I'm going to have to take that off later because if you look on, so it's your right, my left, right beside the little white cup. There are two little bars there that were supposed to go in between the seat and the little bottom shelf that I didn't insert when I put that side piece on. And I was thinking that, okay, that's going to be something that gets added like at the end but i didn't realize it was already in the diagram and i had just missed adding it at one of my steps when i was supposed to add that little side piece that i'm screwing on so i do end up adding it in later but um yeah your girl was struggling a little bit but this was fun i love assembling furniture because i love like puzzles and stuff like that and it just makes me feel so productive so i did enjoy putting this together and it didn't actually take a long time i think it was like 37 minutes total with my mistakes um so i'd argue probably 20 to 30 minutes 25 to 30 minutes for the average person if you've assembled furniture before um 
in general though with packaging everything was very well packaged nothing came damaged all of the pieces were very nice quality it is composite wood like i said um but all of the pieces were very nice quality i think after assembling everything um you'll see that i had about four pieces um total of like leftover hardware one for each type of piece so if there was like a, a screw a b c and d there were um there were like one of each making it a total of four leftover pieces so there isn't a lot of extra pieces so you definitely want to be careful to make sure that when you're assembling it you keep everything together um because you don't have a lot of uh, leftovers or extras that are in the packaging um and also that like i said this is me realizing that i didn't put those two bars in so i'm unscrewing everything and redoing it uh, i was like kind of overwhelming for a second but i got it together um and as far as quality really great quality like i know sometimes composite wood can feel a bit cheap and too light depending on where you get it from but i would definitely say this has like a more real wood feel it definitely has some weight to it even in the box um i don't know if you could tell it was pretty heavy when i was picking it up um and i, I would just say overall it's a really nice quality product especially you know for people who have kids or toddlers who are rough on things um this seems like it'll last a, a good little while of course if taken care of it's a smooth surface so after i had finished putting it together i literally just uh wiped it down sprayed it with lysol and wiped it down just because it's been in packaging it's been through manufacturing so i always clean my products once i'm done with them um but overall i would say assembly uh 10 out of 10 and it comes with that cute little drawer at the bottom so you can put like books and little pens and pencils whatever in there um and that was me showing the screws but yeah 10 out of 10 i would say with assembly and everything um great product like really really great product that, no complaints at all shipping and everything was really good as well with amazon i never really had problems with that so yeah and this is sam in it now he likes it he was happy with it he jumped right in and he was using it i put some teddy grams in his little cup thing and he was trying to put his little sippy cup in there but that's just not how it works but yeah and it comes with that cup as well so yeah if you guys like this product the link will be available in my bio thank you so much for tuning into this video and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye